hundred percent, a hundred percent. No, I, some, I say a hundred percent. It's been, it's been. I think people need to look at like the real symptoms of it and the real. Obviously, everyone experiences mental no, health differently. They, they say it's a trend, or people are more aware of it now because now it's been talked about. Because before you might not know you're depressed, you just thought you were sad, but now people are telling you this is symptoms, and now you're saying. But I think I depressed. think when you're truly depressed, in my experience, it's a thing where the awareness, these awareness days are great, and these awareness days are like cool in it. But the awareness days aren't for the people that are suffering the depression. You tell me the four lines for the two liter sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you drink. <laughs> I know people think that I'm just for the kids, man, and I, and I don't suggest this to my young fans. I'm being for real. I don't suggest it. Let us do the rapper shit. Y'all stay in school and get good grades. Let us do the rapper shit. Don't do it. Um, but depression, one thing that um, kind of annoys me about the depression um, thing is that People always kind of think that, that depression comes from, from drugs or these low points come from, from drugs, alcohol and all these things, yeah. But there's many things out there that can be addictive and that can have psychological impact on you and your life. Mm. Social media being a massive part. And let's be real, everyone is addicted to social media. Mm -hmm. I think this culture has um, made up its own definition of what depression is. Oh, I think. I think. I think because obviously I, for those I don't know, I study psychology at uni. Um, I'm very passionate about mental health, but I'm not passionate about cultural mental health because I feel like it's more of a. I don't. And this is me not speaking down on anybody's experience. I'm not speaking down on what anybody has gone through. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this generation has seen that mental health is a hot topic. They have chosen to pick it up as something to use for their own gain. Yes, 100%. When there is people that are actually suffering. And everyone thinks, oh, at 25, you're going to know, you're going to get given this yeah, envelope yeah, that yeah. tells you exactly what yeah, the fuck yeah, you're doing. Yeah, 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 <laughs> this is that shit that gets put I in. I don't even know what we were talking about. Yeah, you don't even know. What to, you got to watch something later. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> this quote I said, take out sheep again. Sheep. sheep. There's dangerous. a lot of sheep in this world. Like I'm sorry to use the term, I'm, but I'm not. I'm not using the term loosely. There is a lot of sheep in this world, and it's how hard is it to think for yourself? How hard is it to put yourself first and be like, I want to be this person or I want to be that person? Now, there's nothing wrong with influence. We are influenced each and every day of our lives of because, us, of yeah. what, because of what we are, what we're surrounded by, what we allow in our space, in our mental space. Then there's nothing wrong. Is whether or not we use that influence in the right way. Mm. Like I said, try not to be a sheep. And they are looking at certain people that are, have become the voice of mental health mm -hmm. for diagnosis. So yeah. what would you say are the prime examples of something, someone that does deal with mental health yeah. and someone who's just sad? I think I'm not a, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not trying to do that, but I think, um, I think depression is more than sadness. I think people are sad. We, we've all had a sad moment. Mm -hmm. I've had a sad moment. You've mm -hmm. had a sad moment. Mm -hmm. But I think depression has, it's, it's got um, a pattern. Mm -hmm. The, a diagnosis for depression is very, very, it has to be, it's very 
I don't know how to say it because I don't like a lot of people are gonna be in the comments and say, Yeah, but you don't know my past, you don't know my experience. Yeah, and just, I understand it's that it's not attacking, it's not attacking no. but it's I, I get really worried when I see my my younger cousins speaking about they are depressed. You are 13 years old, you your friends do not want to be your friends anymore. Just because you've listened to Lil Zan talk about depression doesn't mean that you've got depression because you've lost a couple of friends. Epidemic, I think, is a bit mad. I oh. think, I think, I, I could see how now I think we're heading in that direction. I think obviously you're living. Instagram's the place where everyone's perfect, everyone's cool, everyone's Gucci. They're not gonna say that, not gonna show you their. their no, no one will show you their struggle. But at the same time, I think there are also on Twitter. You see, there's more people there that are going through mental health, for example. Then people are a bit more like, yo. This is happening, this is happening. But the thing is, I think, is I think there's a lot of people that talk about mental health looking to capitalise on it. 100%. Rather than the actual shit that can we, actually can we, happens. Can we say it's a trend? I think it's very sensitive. Oh, 100%. 100%. No, I, some, I say 100%. Some, it's, some, been, it's been, I think, people need to look at, like, the real symptoms of it. And the real... Obviously, everyone experiences mental no, health differently. Don't you say it's a trend or are people more aware of it now? Because now it's been talked about. Because before you might not know you're depressed. You just thought you were sad. But now people are telling you this is symptoms and now you're saying... But I think I depressed. think when you're truly depressed, in my experience, it's a thing where the awareness... These awareness days are great. And these awareness days are like cool, innit? But the awareness days aren't for the people that are suffering the depression. Do you not understand? Like the, 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 the awareness days are for the people that aren't suffering with the depression that are now being told, you know what, check in on your people. It's not about... Oh, mm. it's these people is depressed. Celebrate them this day. Like no, it's, it's it's understanding that there are symptoms that people who are depressed don't even know they have it. Mm. Like it's a lot of thing. A lot of people don't know they even have this shit or anxiety and all these different correlations from depression. It's something where people wake up on their phone, looking at Instagram, going to bed with their phone, Instagram, phone in their hand all day. They've got unrealistic I, 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 expectations I, I, of life. I, 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 Do you know what I mean? This is said and done because obviously there's people following trends, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, whatever but use influence in the right way and be an individual, be an identity, stand for something. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Be, what's your purpose in life? I've always been asked that from a young exactly. age. What is your purpose in life? Yeah. And I feel like for me, depression can be avoided. It can be avoided. It's easier said than done. Yeah. But it can be avoided. You choose, you make the right choices for your life. Um, you will definitely find yourself in better positions. Now, not to say life is not hard. Life is definitely hard. And harder for some than others. Yes, harder for some than others. Life is definitely hard. Uh, let's be realistic now. But I do feel like sometimes we make life harder than what it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of the things that we put in place in ourselves that we're blocking our own way. Like we're blocking our own blessings. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to say? So with that, like I said, being in, the, in an individual is claiming a sense of independence. That you're going to stand for something and you're going to... If you have tasks and goals and stuff to better yourself, whether yeah. it be career-wise, being a better person, being a better brother, mother, son, father, boyfriend, whatever it is, being a better career man, whatever job that you're doing, mm. you've decided to put yourself first and make sure that you're going to live the best of your life to the best of your ability. That's it. Pri That's a choice. Prioritise yes. your um, peace of mind. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Prioritise your peace of mind. I think that's the issue. And I think you have a lot of people on social media saying, speak about your depression. If you're sad, speak about it. That's not depression. Mm -hmm. You're going through your teenage years. You're, you're growing up. You're experiencing emotions. And it is normal to experience emotions. And I don't think you should now diagnose yourself and say, I have depression. Because then that diagnosis comes to self-medicating and yes. that's when you have people using Zan and people using Percocet and people using these things in order to talk that talk in, in order to fix a wound that's not even there yeah, you're yeah, picking yeah. on wounds that are not there that's I think true. it's so important for people to seek the right help these influences are not going to help you you've got people speaking on mental health that are not uh, Hey, that that was that was that Sorry, like, because I think it's so important. I think it's so damaging in our culture where people, mental health has become a marketing scheme. It's of become course. a way for people to make money and to speak. Do you know what I mean? Of and course. I think it's very important to stop, to just stop. If you are going through depression, if you think you're going through depression, seek help. Mm -hmm. Do not read a caption and think, oh, okay, wait, hold on. It resonates with it me. Resi it resonates with me. Hold mm -hmm. on, I've been feeling sad for a week. 
that might not be depression. Of course. You might just be extremely sad about a situation and you just need someone to vent to. What kind of social pressures? Every angles. And I don't think it's just, like, Russ said it best. I don't really like, Russ my favorite rapper, but his interviews are amazing sometimes. Like, he speaks to some real shit, I can't lie. Mm. I feel like it's not just, us lot of celebrities, celebrities as well have, like, depression and that. I think every suffering. I think a lot of people suffer. I think suffering. depression, the, the thing is within our culture, yeah, is depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress. They're the, they're the three things that are really big. And I think with the people that we have in our culture, I feel, yeah, it doesn't... Because as soon as you say there's depression, it's like, okay, what has led them? As you said yeah. earlier, what, what addiction has led them to this path? Like, because everyone instantly assumes the mental health... It's, it's not, bro. Like, the depression is a chemical imbalance in your brain. 100. Firstly. Like, that's actually the case. It's, a, it's not something that has been triggered. It, oh, there's triggers, yes. But it's not something that has started just because you started doing this or doing this or doing this. Sure, you can manage it. You can manage depression in how you do. You might have it might flare up at times. Yeah. But it's it's a thing where, especially for men, you don't want to. It's cliche, but you bottle it up in it, and you and you you don't want to release the information that you've had. We don't. Affecting we don't. You. We don't want to see. As you don't want to. You don't want to look emotional. But I think. Emotional, but then again, that's what I said. That when I. So that's why you take out on the bottle. You take out somewhere else. That's what I told to Chris, and Chris was like, he agrees, like. I think as men, we don't have a lot of people to talk to at, at times when we feel down without us being like costed away like raw. Like, mm. Yeah, of course. Little, you don't want it to be here yeah, where it's a thing where when you're going through it, yeah, because it's, a, it's not something, with, with my experience of it, it's, it's not something that is for one month, for six weeks. It can be something that can go on for two, three years. Do you understand? It can ongo and it, yeah, you'll be looking smiley and happy and everything yeah. blessed for, for months. Yeah. You don't even remember you have this shit. All it takes is one rock of that boat, fam, and it's like, whoa. As long as you do that, no matter whatever else you do, whether you drink, because everyone, a lot of people drink. Mm. A lot of people smoke weed. Mm. A lot of people take lean. A lot of people do these things, and not everyone dies, and not everyone is depressed. Mm. You just have to prioritise your, your peace of mind. Once you prioritise your peace of mind, you will know, okay, I can't be drinking every day. Mm. I can't be buying a Henny bottle every single day sure. and, and downing it every single time, you know, I have to go to work or I come back from work. That's an expense you don't out. need. That's waste of money. You calculate how much money you spent in a week yeah. on just that stuff alone. But you're that, thinking that, like, that will put you in a spiral because yeah. it's like, without the alcohol now, you know what I mean? You're not happy. Once you get the alcohol, it's like, you know, you need more. Mm. So it's just like, you know, if you don't prioritise your peace of mind in that situation, then your, your balance is going to be messed up. One of those other things will become the priority in your life and it will take control. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Another thing I wanted to say is, we're in the age yeah, where we believe too much in concepts. Mm. See me, I'm the type of person who, I see information as information. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, we, us humans, we make up things. There's nothing about this world that we understand. Mm. Science is the, is the most... Um, let's say, respected authority when it comes to, you know, understanding the world. But yeah, do you know theories why? and theories being tested again and again. Do you again know why science is that way? Proven, yeah. Because fundamentally, science is built up on the theory that as long as something, if, if something is, let's say, you know, a fact, mm -hmm. it's only a fact if it's been tested, exactly. trialled, mm -hmm. you know, um, cross-referenced, and mm -hmm. then, even then, it has to be able to be um, subject to revision. Yeah. That's why science is science, because it accepts that it might be wrong and that it allows other concepts to allow, to, that um, could potentially be more true to replace the ones that we've discovered to be wrong. For sure. So science is fundamentally accepting that its concepts are not 100% factual. Mm. But yet, we'll make up a, a concept about religion, we'll make up a concept about mental health, we'll make up a concept about depression, and we'll believe it like it's the Bible. Mm. That is nothing in this world is a fact. So anything that you're subscribing to, just know that it's not factual and that you're, it's mind over matter. And this might sound always. patronizing here, but I'm just trying to give you another perspective. It's always mind over to matter. Open your, to open your mind. So, and this is another thing Kieran and Dan were saying. There's no such thing as sad no more, you know. We've caught them a lot in this still. Yeah, no, yeah, because we, they were saying some real shit and you're going to see. <laughs> we caught them a lot still. You're, you're either, nowadays it's either you're, you're happy or you're depressed. There's no in between. Mm. Stop choosing. Like, for some, depression is a medical, medical illness. Do you get what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. if, when my boy told me he was depressed, he got that news from the doctor. And fair enough, they are quick to tell people, oh, you're depressed and give you shit, you know. But it's a medical condition. You're not going to get diagnosed off of Twitter. Because that's where there's a discrepancy and that's where you have young people, again, self-medicating. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. young people taking drugs because taking, doing 
we because they feel like that helps them open up or you have mm. people doing cocaine because it numbs the pain or you have people taking Percocet because it helps with depression that yeah, you, yeah. you might not even have mm -hmm. and it might have a it might leave you with consequences in the long run mm -hmm. you know so 100% I don't know um, I, I, I what do you think the question well what I personally think my view on yeah. everything is that you know the same way we've now addressed people dealing with trauma stress depression etc etc we need to deal with people and being emotionally responsible. Mm. Because I feel like with... What do you mean? What does it mean to be emotionally so responsible? Emotionally, to be emotionally responsible is knowing how to actually deal with your emotions first and yes. foremost. To manage them, yes. you know, sensibly. You know, being accountable for your actions, mm -hmm. being accountable for your emotions, being accountable for your feelings. Now, where I feel like there's blurred lines in is with depression and with a lack of emotional responsibility that no matter what situation that happens, if it doesn't turn out in your favour or how you wanted it to be like, then you're going to perceive it as is depression. Like the, it will, the next result will be depression from that. Rather than you just being emotionally irresponsible and not knowing how to manage your own emotions. That's the first thing mm -hmm. I would say. Secondly, um, I, I, I feel like with depression as a whole, it's understanding exactly what it is. Mm -hmm having a vivid understanding exactly of where it is. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, as you said, is seeking that form of, of, of professional help, seeking actual resolution to it. I feel like a lot of people have used depression as a term to sometimes justify their lack of achievements they've been able to achieve within life. <sighs> I, I, I really do think that a million percent. I think that a million percent people have used the form of the depression as justification for lack of achievement. Mm -hmm. for like they've used it for in any sense of when any, any form of failure or something negative that didn't work in their favour. Mm -hmm. You know, they use a form of depression as it as well. Um, also, I feel like it's just, it's just used as a, a, a scapegoat to describe any dark period or yeah. any bad time. Um, I don't think a lot of people know what depression is. What's happening here? then you have a decision whether you help keep rocking that shit or you try to steady the ship. Now, depending on your lifestyle at that time, Can I add you're not equipped to steady it. Can I add something? I know it's going to sound mad, though. I don't know if you add this or not. Do you, uh, is there anything called sadness anymore? Like, can't you just be sad for this one day? Of course and you then, can. And then be over and done with. Like, I feel like people... I people want to label As soon as someone's sad, yeah. You're depressed. depressed. Yeah, like, no, it's not. It's, it's, not. it's straight depression. I shouldn't be laughing at him. No, it's... Like, it can laugh, but it's not... It's, but it's like... It's a diagnosis. People want to be labelled, innit? People want to be... We, we've always... I When I've been growing up, it's always been a thing of we don't want to be labelled. We don't want to be put in a box. We don't want to be this. And it's like the generation coming below us crave being labelled something so they want, much I feel, here. I feel like everyone wants to be a part of something. They want to be a part of something, exactly. Like it's a community, like it's a Twitter community. Because think, if you then are depressed, you now find a depressed page on Twitter, there's like another 20 different depressed pages you can follow that will help you feed into that shit. It's like anything. It's, it's like drugs. You can probably follow like 20...